Together with the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Skills Development and other vocational training players in Sri Lanka, the World University Service of Canada has since 1989 driven education as a key change agent for the world. And in Sri Lanka, today we will see and hear the results that have emerged since that time. I would like to invite the country director Richard Bonakowski to make the welcome address. Venerable Dr. Divilagama Damasenatero, Venerable Teros, and brave friend members of the clergy, Honorable Mr. Dallas Alapaparama, Minister of Youth Affairs and Skills Development, Your Excellency, Ms. Shelley Whitting, High Commissioner of Canada, Mr. Thila Karathne, Secretary, Youth Affairs and Skills Development, Vice Chancellor, Dr. Pia Siri, Professor Dianta, Mr. Chris Eaton, Executive Director, World University Service of Canada, Heads of Agencies, Partners, Colleagues, Ladies and Gentlemen, welcome. I'd like to invite the Executive Director, the Venerable Dr. Devalagama Dhamma Senathera, to make his presentation. Canada Locus Dale Sebe, Usait in Samaga, Adia Panaha Punutulin, Punrutapan Viapatia, Red Kriatma Karata. It does not see Anudi was ready, Kavanti Savuti Pun Madestania, Canada Locus Dale Sebe Samaga, Howl Karit Dot, Aram Bakadea. A pay member, Howl Karit Pray Petipale Uye, Paladai Rakiavak. Labaga Nimisandaha, Avashavane, Usartaha, Danumat Pat Kurganim Pinisa, Samaje, Kornwe City, Siaganan, Tarun Tarnianter, Avastava Labadi Mai. Arambu Kali Sita, Adudakwa Enam, Pasugi Aurdu, Visiatra Kali Tule, Sri Lanka Ve Tarunain, Tisdaha Denekuter, Mima Via Patien, Bunwala Badi Yatta. My pleasure now to make the Chief Guest's address to invite the Minister of Youth Affairs and Skills Development, the Honourable Dallas Alahab Peruma. It's a great pleasure and honour for me to deliver the keynote address this morning. By setting a target to be a middle-income nation by 2016, we are trying to move from factor-driven economy to one driven by efficiency. In order to reach productivity targets, we need people with right and advanced skills. Vocational education provision is a powerful tool that can be effectively used to empower youth and thereby eradicate poverty. And I would like to end my speech by quoting Canada's favorite son in their most beloved sport, Wayne Gretzky. He said, quote, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, unquote. Like he said, you can't succeed at all if you lack the courage to take the initiative. So thank you, Wuss for taking the initiative. It is my distinct honor and privilege to speak to you today to give a vote of thanks to this morning's guests and speakers. I would like to invite the audience to join me again in round of applause and appreciation.
we have put together a very dynamic panel uh, that will share with you the challenges and the opportunities that has uh, come our way. Uh, first of all, we needed to make sure that our training meet, uh, meets the employer and labor market demands. Uh, so we're able to provide better quality training and gainful employment to our trainees. The corporate sector offers many attractive employment opportunities and our trainees are in an advantageous position to benefit from these opportunities. In order to connect our trainees to the corporate sector, our challenge lies in attracting trainees to work with corporate firms. The key objective of Pret option is to enhance socio-economic conditions for marginalized, unemployed women and youth in selected district of Sri Lanka. Woos did much type of activities to achieve this goal. The social marketing and community promotion is one of the key activities among them. So let's see what we mean by social marketing. In our goal to effectively promote our programs, a persistent challenge we faced was changing people's attitudes towards non-traditional employments. To address this challenge, 23 career guidance programs were conducted with 1,486 participants, including 753 women. Advancing gender equality in vocational training has been a key objective of uh, PRET option. We have around uh, 20 to 30 master trainers on gender, which I think is a benchmark in the, uh, in the history of gender equality. Me sambandhingati yahapurudu lesa adala rajya rajya noena aitanavala istri purudu samajabaviya pratipatti sakas kirimata unandu kirimai. Evita apasamata kanta aitin venu en ekka kata yutu kirimata haki venu eta. Non-traditional sector for women, is it a western theory that we are trying to push on women? Or like our women are more comfortable with the traditional sector already existing. If it was a Western concept, none of the women who are sitting here in this audience and the panel will not be sitting here. Uh, I appreciate very much the presentations made by the panelists in sharing their experiences uh, in the Tibet sector. Youth with special needs as we all know that deserve special attention in, pro in accessing vocational training and employment. And the way in it, Matumuru Paria Savalunde Petti or Alike Ungur Munvaikalamina and Bilbo Green. Why is Koliana Pio to Dokaran and Kil Hamdruki what pass it on my mom passal and Kamatune? Who's cast taken the baton since, uh, since long to help out these people and uh, it's a great achievement I believe. I don't know how long it has taken to come to only the way and uh, the presentation really giving us an inner feeling that uh, it should be taken to another year or so. In order to physically support our CSO training providers, we found that it is important to develop financial sustainability and a program result strategy without an over dependence on donors. Pet option, we are Pruti, Sialu, Burti, Puhuno, Sapayanan, Truti Kaha, Burti, Adiapan, Komsama Samaga, Samandavan Athar, Ongi, Amashatavian, Sampurna Ked Latino, Bohodurta. The important uh, keynote here the 2000, 3335 train, train trainees connected with 2,500 small and medium employers at the North, East and Southern region who immediately provide on-the-job training and employment. Our efforts to effectively lead to worthwhile employment opportunities for our trainees, we need to ensure that our training reflects the demands of the local economies. Nangu Paichipata Nabargalka Siranda Kirvi Rikra and Baday Kachukundo. 
by having employers who encourage and support the success of our female rainies they are able to receive the recognition they have earned i think we need to do a lot more to also move toward more informal kinds of learning and not necessarily only pursue <laughs> nvq related training we can take an occupation and we can work with the ministry and the tertiary and vocational education commission to get it accredited but in the meantime if there is a demand for this and it is not being met by other organizations then we really i think as partner organizations in at busk need to start thinking more strategically we have had a series of very interesting presentations and stimulating discussions i hope the insights shared will benefit our mutual endeavors for better training and employment for sri lankans marginalized youth education and training are vital for all these activities who's has helped us a lot and will help in the future too like UNICEF, UN, GIZ, Australia AIDS, especially on the education and training. The conference conducted today is also very important for us. Thanks. Thanks you very much for that. And now the Executive Director of BUSC, Mr. Chris Eaton, can we have you up here please? Now, this is an important and timely event that marks over 24 years of WUSC support for quality employment skills training in Sri Lanka. We have heard a, a, a testaments, uh, several testaments of the transformative power of skills for employment training in the lives of young women and men and their communities. Now these achievements have been made possible only through the collaborative effort of thousands of individuals and all of the partners here in the room today. We have found that quality training requires strong community support and parental involvement. And our partners have demonstrated a track record of enabling community and per parental participation in programming. I believe that together we can continue our education and training efforts in support of Sri Lanka's development and the social and economic advancement of its people. Thank you very much. I am pleased that WUSC has taken it the time to organize this event as well as to engage you in regional consultations in the lead up to this conference. Combined, these gatherings provided an opportunity to learn from one another and discuss the lessons learned and best practices acquired under this project. Inequality in our societies should not be ignored as we dare not risk leaving people behind. Vocational training can help bridge the gap between rich and poor by training youth disadvantaged and vulnerable groups, vocational programs can provide skill sets that can help them be gainfully employed and productively contribute to the welfare of their families, communities and country. WUSC's PRET Options Project has helped economically and socially disadvantaged young women and men gain the training required to find meaningful work in their communities and advance their career prospects. The PRET Options Project has enhanced the vocational training sector as a whole, improved the delivery of quality vocational training, and increased employment opportunities for marginalized women and youth. I think this is the final stage we are. Therefore, I am giving the opportunity to delivering the word of thanks to all you who have made the achievement and lesson learned conference a success. I want to say that we are really grateful to all our presenters, panelists, supporters, performers, and special guests. I would like to invite the audience to join me again in a round of applause in appreciation and appreciation. We are, we are all in motivated by your words and action. I declare this event adjourned. <laughs>